Hey y'all, Chef Irick Sky here, and I want to post another follow-up review for the Weber Master Touch. The Weber Master Touch after many weeks using. So I didn't have to get this grill because I had a another uh is it 20 or 22 inch, I forget, Weber kettle that was many years old and was still fine. But I purchased this grill for several reasons, and we're gonna go through that within this video. And by the way, if you're shopping for a grill like this one, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. Super affordable, easy to accessorize with things like these hooks, which I've also linked there, and then also the uh, cast iron grates, which I've also linked there. So you can do a lot with this, with this kettle. So first of all, one of the things that makes this, this model of the Weber kettle, kettle great is the easy cleanup system. So the top handle, you just go, when you're not cooking and everything's cool, you go back and forth, it'll remove the coal, the, the cooled ash rather, and then the cooled ash will drop into a tray and you can just pull this handle, pull it out, conveniently clean your grill without getting messy. The other thing that's great about this model of the Weber kettle, the little wheels that it comes with, they're great. If you're rolling it on a deck, you know, you want to grill in front of, in front of whatever, you know, I'm up in the mountains, man, up in the mountains. Or if you're uh, wherever and you want to store it somewhere else while it's not in use, it's easy to roll. The, uh, the grates on this are great. <laughs> Get it? The grates are great. Because what you can do, you can actually lift these side pieces up if you needed to add more charcoal during your cook. Same with that side, which is super nice. But also this middle part, you can see I've got a cast iron insert in there right now but you could use other types of things like a pizza stone. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of inserts available, both first party Weber and third party that are compatible with this Weber kettle. So that's a huge value add. The uh, build quality speaks for itself, like all Weber kettles. And that's, this is no exception. I mean, like I said, I've had this one for several weeks, actually several months now. Uh, check out my unboxing and assembly video. But the trend among most retailers, not just talking about grills, but you know, anything, tennis shoes, clothing, whatever. The trend has been pay more, get less. And with Weber, I have not noticed a visual or tactile difference in build quality. This Weber feels just as well built as my older Webers that I've owned. And I've been using Webers for many, many years. So there's no sacrifice of quality. This model does have an integrated thermometer for the ambient temp, which is nice. Now, typically when I'm, when I'm cooking, I know what I'm cooking, so I don't even have to look at the thermometer. But if you're new to grilling or you like to monitor your ambient temperature without using ambient probes, you know, this is, this is a good way to do it. So it's nice that's added in there. That's not one of the things that sold me on it. Uh, one thing I do like with this model Weber is this right here. See, when you take your lid off, it just tucks back there. A lot of the other model Webers, although great, they, they leverage a little hook that's under the, uh, under the top of the lid. And what's funny about that, one of my previous model Webers that, that utilized the hook, I didn't know it had a hook under the lid until a viewer of my channel told me, they're like, man, you know, that, that Weber kettle's got a hook you don't have to put on the ground. And I was putting it on the ground every time I needed to use both hands when I was doing something on the grill. So that made me feel pretty stupid, but this right here is straightforward in your face. There's no questioning, you know, how you, how you place your lid while it's not in use. But man, this thing, I know cast iron is a little bit excessive for bratwurst, but cast iron really, especially if you're doing, uh, now it doesn't come out of the box with cast iron. It comes with a uh, stainless steel type grate like this, which is great. I mean, it does a good job, but that's the first thing I did is, is, is insert my cast iron searing grate because, and, and like I said, I've got the cast iron searing grate and the, uh, and the grill and everything else, the tool hooks, everything linked within this video's description. So expand this video's description and click the links there. And if you can't find it, just ask, and I'll be more than happy to try to find a link for you. But yeah, this is just super convenient, being able to hook my stuff on while it's not in use and have my lid right there. I mean, ease of cooking is so good. I know people that will spend, you know, people that have excessive disposable income, 
they'll spend thousands of dollars for grills and they don't even know how to cook. You know, it's all about, they're getting it just for the presentation or whatever, make people come over and think, oh, these people must know how to cook. They got a $5,000 grill. And that's not the case. I've been cooking with all different types of grills. Number one, I cannot stand propane grills, personal preference. When I'm grilling, I'm using charcoal. Charcoal and possibly a combination of hickory chips. You would never find me cooking on a propane grill unless I was for some reason forced into doing that. So charcoal is the way to go. This, I mean, you can get fancy, overpriced charcoal grills. The reality is charcoal grills, they share a common thing and that's they're using charcoal for the heat source and they're using charcoal to amplify the flavor. Whether it's a Weber kettle or something costing five, 10, 30 times more, it's still doing the same thing. When I'm buying a grill, I'm looking for something that is going to last a long time and won't break the bank. Here's the thing about this grill. I intentionally neglect all my Weber kettles. I don't buy the covers. You know, you buy a cover, a cover gets all raggedy in a few weeks or a few months, and then it ends up dry rotting. At least that's been my experience. My experience with Weber kettle, even out in the, in the mountains, man, up in the mountains, up here in these mountains, mountains like I am, even out there, it's uh, in direct sunlight and just abusing the grill. I've noticed no structural integrity issues. I've noticed no rusting. And that's attributed to the quality components that Weber uses. So I don't cover my grill. Now you may cover your grill and it's probably strongly encouraged, but I don't. And oh, and I didn't mention this. You, you can control the airflow with that. I've got it where I like it. But, um, and there's also the part on the bottom that does a charcoal swipe when it's, when the ash is cool, you can use that to regulate your airflow too. But I intentionally don't cover my Weber kettles and this Weber kettle is no exception. And the reason I went with it and you know, my old Weber kettle is just down there on the, on the lower patio or whatever. But the reason I don't cover it is just an added expense and you know, just something that's in my opinion, unnecessary. What I like also about this model of Weber kettle are the color options. I got this bluish color. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really cool. Up here on this mountain, man, up here on this mountain. I got my grill, man, it's blue, I got a blue color. That's right, it is kind of a blue color. And that's, uh, that's one of the other cool value adds. You can get in a variety of different colors. And I've linked all of those, all of those colors within this video's description. So it's just a really nice grill. It looks nice. It's not going to cheapen up your decor, you know. You're married. Maybe, you know, maybe you're married and your wife's all snobby and stuff. She's like, ooh, that looks cheap. That cheapens up the decor. Well, this doesn't cheapen up the decor. If it does, if, if you're married, I'll tell you this. If you're married and your wife says this cheapens up the decor, just say, look, I want a divorce. And get divorced and find a wife that appreciates a good quality grill in your backyard, your deck, your patio, wherever you grill. You know, you don't, you don't want a wife that's going to say that this grill cheapens up the decor, because it doesn't. And that's actually another reason I went with this grill, because my wife thinks that aesthetically, it's aesthetically pleasing. And I would concur, it is aesthetically pleasing. Very good looking grill. So I could go on and on about this grill. The bottom line is, it doesn't matter how it looks. It doesn't matter who the manufacturer is. It's the food you put in your mouth. And I tell you, these bratwurst, mm, everything I've grilled on this. And I've done hundreds of cooks already on this, this particular Weber. On other Webers, I've done probably thousands of cooks. But man, just knowing that when I take this food off for myself, for my family, for my friends, for anyone, knowing when I take it off that the finished product is going to be consistently excellent. That's what matters most. So when I'm shopping for a grill, it's a Weber. And when I get a grill, it's only every few years or so because admittedly, you know, Weber's coming out with new, new and improved models like this Master Touch, which I love. You can get more expensive Webers too. I don't care for them. I like this. This is perfect for what I need. But if Weber comes out with something else revolutionary, then I'll probably upgrade this Weber kettle. But one thing's certain, 
or I feel it's probably for sure, is that this Weber kettle will probably not die. This Weber kettle will live on until I say, dude, you're getting retired or you're going to be the secondary grill because I got a newer Weber. Love these things. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And check out all of Chef Irish Sky's cooking videos. Up here on this mountain, man, I'm grilling. I'm grilling a bunch of stuff. Come check it out. See y'all later. Hey, y'all. Irish Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.